NCRT podcast by Anoop Vashisht, nomenclature of organic compounds. Nomenclature of organic compounds. Organic chemistry deals with millions of compounds. In order to clearly identify them, a systematic method of naming has been developed and is known as the IUPAC International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry System of Nomenclature. In this systematic nomenclature, the names are correlated with the structure such that the reader or listener can deduce the structure from the name. Before the IUPAC system of nomenclature, however, organic compounds were assigned names based on their origin or certain properties. For instance, citric acid is named so because it is found in citrus fruits and the acid found in red ant is named formic acid since the Latin word for ant is formica. These names are traditional and are considered as trivial or common names. Some common names are followed even today. For example, Buckminster Fullerin is a common name given to the newly discovered C60 cluster, a form of carbon, noting its structural similarity to the geodesic domes popularized by the famous architect R. Buckminster Fuller. Common names are useful and in many cases indispensable, particularly when the alternative systematic names are lengthy and complicated. Common names of some organic compounds are given in Table 12.1. Common or trivial names of some organic compounds. Methane, N-butane, isobutane, neopentane, N-propyl alcohol, formaldehyde, acetone, chloroform, acetic acid, benzene, anisole, aniline. The IUPAC system of nomenclature. A systematic name of an organic compound is generally derived by identifying the parent hydrocarbon and the functional groups attached to it. See the example given below. By further using prefixes and suffixes, the parent name can be modified to obtain the actual name. Compounds containing carbon and hydrogen only are called hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is termed saturated if it contains only carbon-carbon single bonds. The IUPC name for a homologous series of such compounds is alkane paraffin, Latin little affinity, was the earlier name given to these compounds. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are those which contain at least one carbon-carbon double or triple bond. IUPAC Nomenclature of Alkenes Straight Chain Hydrocarbons The names of such compounds are based on their chain structure and end with suffix "-ane", and carry a prefix indicating the number of carbon atoms present in the chain except from CH4 to C4H10 where the prefixes are derived from trivial names. The IUPC names of some straight chain saturated hydrocarbons are given in Table 12.2. The alkanes in Table 12.2 differ from each other by merely the number of CH2 groups in the chain. They are homologous of alkane series. Table 12.2 to IUPC name of some unbranched saturated hydrocarbons. Methane CH4, heptane C7H16, ethane C2H6, octane C8H18, propane C3H8, nonane C9H20, butane C4H10, decane C10H22, pentane C5H12, eicosane C20H42, hexane C6H14, tricontane C30, H62. Branch chain hydrocarbons. In a branch chain compound, small chains of carbon atoms are attached at one or more carbon atoms of the parent chain. The small carbon chains, branches, are called alkyl groups. For example, 
CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, CH3, CH3, CH, CH2, CH, CH3, and branching ethyl and methyl. In order to name such compounds, the name of alkyl groups are prefixed to the name of parent alkene. An alkyl group is derived from a saturated hydrocarbon by removing a hydrogen atom from carbon. Thus, CH4 becomes CH3 and is called methyl group. An alkyl group is named by substituting YL for ane in the corresponding alkene. Some alkyl groups are listed in table 12.3. CH4 gives methane, CH3 methyl, C2H6 ethane, CH2 CH3 ethyl, C3H8 propane, CH2 CH2 CH3 propyl, C4H10 butane, CH2 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 CH3 butyl, C10 H22 decane, CH2 CH2 8 CH3 decyl. Abbreviations are used for some alkyl groups. For example, methyl is abbreviated as ME, ethyl as ET, propyl as PR, and butyl as BU. The alkyl groups can be branched also. Thus, propyl and butyl groups can have branched structure as shown below. Isopropyl, secondary butyl, isobutyl, tertiary butyl, neopentyl. Common branch groups have specific trivial names. For example, the propyl groups can either be n-propyl group or isopropyl group. The branched butyl groups are called secondary butyl, isobutyl and tert butyl group. We also encounter the structural unit CH2C, CH3 whole thrice, which is called neopentyl group. Nomenclature of branched chain alkanes. We encounter a number of branched chain alkanes. The rules for naming them are given below. First of all, the longest carbon chain in the molecule is identified. In the example 1 given below, the longest chain has 9 carbons and is considered as the parent or root chain. Selection of parent chain as shown in 2 is not correct because it has only 8 carbons. The carbon atoms of the parent chain are numbered to identify the parent alkane and to locate the positions of the carbon atoms at which branching takes place due to the substitution of alkyl group in place of hydrogen atoms. The numbering is done in such a way that the branched carbon atoms get the lowest possible numbers. Thus, the numbering in the above example should be from left to right branching at carbon 2 and 6 and not from right to left giving numbers 4 and 8 to the carbon atoms at which branches are attached. The names of alkyl groups attached as a branch are then prefixed to the name of the parent alkane and position of the substituent is indicated by the appropriate numbers. If different alkyl groups are present, they are listed in alphabetical order. Thus, the name for the compound shown above is 6-ethyl-2-methyl-nonane. Note, the numbers are separated from the groups by hyphens and there is no break between methyl and nonane. If two or more identical substituent groups are present, then the numbers are separated by commas. The names of identical substituents are not repeated. Instead, prefixes such as di for 2, tri for 3, tetra for 4, penta for 5, hexa for 6, etc. are used. While writing the name of the substituents in alphabetical order, these prefixes, however, are not considered. Thus, the following compounds are named as 2,4-dimethylpentane, 2,2,4-trimethylpentane, 3-ethyl, 4,4-dimethyl, heptane. If the two substituents are found in equivalent positions, the lower number is given to the one coming first in the alphabetical listing. Thus, the following compound is 3-ethyl, 6-methyl octane and not 6-ethyl, 3-methyl octane. 
The branched alkyl groups can be named by following the above mentioned procedures. However, the carbon atom of the branch that attaches to the root alkane is numbered 1 as exemplified below. 1,3-dimethylbutyl The name of such branch chain alkyl group is placed in parenthesis while naming the compound. While writing the trivial names of substituents in alphabetical order, the prefixes iso and neo are considered to be the part of the fundamental name of alkyl groups. The prefixes secondary and tertiary are not considered to be the part of the fundamental name. The use of iso and related common prefixes for naming alkyl groups is also allowed by the IUPAC nomenclature as long as these do not further substitute it. In multi-substituted compounds, the following rules may also be remembered. If there happens to be two side chains of equal size, then that chain is to be selected which contains more number of side chains. After selection of the chain, numbering is to be done from the end closer to the substituent. 5,2-ethyl-butyl-3,3-dimethyl-decane and not 5,2,2-dimethyl-3-ethyl-decane. 5, secondary butyl 4 isopropyl decane 5, 2, 2, dimethyl propyl nonane.